Welcome farmers, it's Sirius with a guide about cloth. This video will show you how to make or acquire one and there's no need to delay this. The easiest way to make a wool cloth is using a loom. A needle device you build using 60 wood, 30 fiber and a pine tar. It works the same way as a furnace or any other production device. You simply hold the wool, put it in the loom and in 4 short hours you'll have yourself a fancy cloth. Just take it out and that's it. There are more ways to get cloth even without having wool and I'll cover them in just a minute, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention all the cool things about getting wool or more cloth from the looms as well. The simplest way to get wool? Build a barn. Then build a bigger barn. Then get a sheep from Marnie. Pet her, feed her till she grows. Then pet her, feed her, love her some more. No, no, not this way. Just stay at the petting part, jeez. And when she's fluffy enough, you just take some shears and the wool is yours. Another way is getting the deluxe coop and some rabbits. And oddly enough, rabbits can drop wool on their own. Don't ask me how, they just do. So that's another way to get it. Also, if you're lucky enough, Emily can send you wool in the mail when you two become more acquainted. Yeah, go ahead, you can be friendly with Emily. Just leave the sheep alone. Now here's the promised part about getting more cloth and other ways to acquire it. As with most things in Stardew, the wool you get from animals can vary in rarity. Silver, gold, iridium. If you place a high quality wool inside the loom, there's a chance of getting two cloth instead of just one. Silver gives you a 10% chance, gold is at 25% and iridium is a 50-50 chance. Apart from this boring way of getting wool, you can also hunt for it. Mummies can drop cloth when killed if you're feeling bold. Or if you've done enough fishing or digging through trash cans, you must have encountered the soggy newspaper item, which is labeled as trash. Well, it is a trash, but it's not entirely useless. If you've already reached level 4 in fishing, you got a recipe for a recycling machine. And if you put the soggy newspaper inside, there's a 10% chance of getting cloth out of it. The remaining 90% is a torch, which kinda becomes useless once you reach about 50 of them. But let's stay positive. Also, that the whole process takes just one hour, so the odds are in your favor. About the same way is in Hungry Games, but well. If you've somehow obtained a lot of soggy newspaper but you hate fishing and refuse to level it up, you get a recycling machine from the field research bundle in the community center. And again, if you're friendly enough with Emily, there's a chance you may get a cloth in the mail. The last way to obtain cloth is simply buying it in the desert from the desert trader on Wednesdays. That will cost you 3 aquamarines per piece. However, aquamarines are a perfect gift for Emily. So that might set you back on the getting friendly part. I'd reconsider that one two times around if I were you. If you're kinda wondering what even is the point of cloth that you should be bothered making one, you can use it to craft dressed spinner to help you fish which you hate so much. And another use is building a mill so you can showcase those gourmet skills of yours. And what is in the end probably the most favorite Stardew thing to do is making clothes of your own. After you've produced your first cloth, an event with Emily will be triggered. She offers her own sewing machine in her house, and no, it's not a euphemism. You can then use the cloth and some other items to make and dye your very own clothing brand. One of those combinations may result in a bright blue colors exactly as the pressed like button right below this video. I'm fairly sure I've depleted all possible ways of getting and making cloth, short of buying it from the traveling merchant for the friendly price of 4 times its actual price. So if you feel I missed one, let me know in the comments, otherwise just tell me what your favorite cloth making combination is. Now go and enjoy your cloth knowledge. Stay happy little farmers and I hope to see you next time.